Howdy everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com. Today we're going to talk about duels. Uh, we did the dimensional battle for chapter 9 yesterday. Today we're going to talk about where you're actually fighting other people rather than the computer. And uh, duels, a lot of people aren't a big fan of duels. I love them. I think they're a lot of fun because it's one of the only places in Iron Throne where you're literally just 1v1 against somebody else. And uh, there's a lot of skill that comes into it. Also a lot of setup and some, you know, a whole bunch of strategy. Uh, so big thing with duels is that... You know, obviously level 40 gear uh, matters a whole lot, and then level 5 immortal heroes matters a whole lot, but you can do it with lower level stuff. You can, uh, there's a lot of players that are in duels that are really high ranked that don't have fully maxed everything, uh, obviously. So, the big thing about duels, though, is you want to pick a setup and start working towards it. So, I'm going to show you, first of all, the first setup I'm going to show is John, Haral, Maria, and Rand. And what that does is that stocks stacks up your ogre stats. Uh, so most people in duels run five ogres. You see the five ogres out front there? Haral has ogre attack. Maria has ogre defense. Toma has ogre HP, so a lot of people run with Toma. But uh, I usually... I kind of dodge Toma most of the time because it's a little bit slower p paced for me. So I see here he fatal blows with Haral right off the bat. And now I'm sitting here and I'm waiting and I use my uh, strike on Ivar because I didn't want to take a fire from Ivar. And then I use my interrupt on Ivar because I didn't want to take a fire from Ivar. So I got the interrupt off. And with this setup, it's all about using Haral to interrupt their dangerous stuff. If you blow your Haral interrupt when he throws his hammer, if you mess that up, you're going to want to use Rand's shield or Maria's heal or something like that. Uh, but Rand's shield is basically just your, your oops button that you're going to use if you don't get their John. Because John is the most dangerous hero in the game, as you see right there, as he kills Ogres and Rand and everybody else right there. Uh, so this stacks up your Ogre attack, and it stacks up your Ogre defense. If you want to fully stack Ogres, you can, using Toma, like I said. But I much prefer John, because that one shot on heroes is brutal with John. Uh, so the big thing about this setup is you want to make sure you're saving your Haral stun for the dangerous things. Uh, John, Ivar... Loki, if they're going, if they're running Loki, you want to use all that stuff, and then you're going to use your Rand shield if you mess that up. You're all you're doing with this setup is you're setting it up, trying to get a John strike off on their important heroes. Uh, the bottom line is though, they've only got four heroes, so pretty much all the heroes important. So you're going to use that John strike on pretty much whoever you can. If you can get it off on one of their, like Haral or something like that, you're going to want to use that. But uh, you know, pretty much taking out their Haral, taking out their John, taking out their Maria so they can't heal, are what you're usually going to want to use John, uh, John Strike on. So this is how you set it up Main a lot of the time. A lot of people stack the Ogres all on one side or something else like that, but I've found just going right in the middle like this, spreading them out, is kind of the best way to outplay your opponent without getting screwed over by the setup. So I've got them all spread out like that. See, so now they have to choose if they want to stun my Haral or if they want to stun my John. And so let's see. The big thing is when you're running into a duel, you want to see what they have. So this is the other ogre setup. See how they have Haral, Maria, Toma, and John? They don't have a Rand, but they do have all of the other guys. So this is why I shield right there because John's way over to the side. And see how I catch the John strike with the shield? I figured he was going to try to stun and then John strike. And that's why I shielded right there. See, he didn't have a shield, so my John was able to take out his Maria and most of his Toma as well. So now I'm going to shield again, catch another John strike. The reason he has his John over to the side is to try to not get interrupted. Uh, the big thing about Haral's stun is that when you use it, it stops all the damage from the Ogres as well because they're all standing still. They're not attacking. So it's really good for both interrupting and it's also really good for reducing the damage that you're taking. The problem is, if you use your Haral stun on all the Ogres and they've got John over to the side, that's why you've got Rand in this setup so you can shield that John strike. And like I said, with this setup, all you're doing is you're letting your Ogres lumberjack them down, chopping them down like trees, and then you're throwing in John strikes whenever you have the extra mana for it. And that's pretty much what you're going to do with this setup right here, is stack up your Ogre HP and your, or I'm sorry, your Ogre attack on Haral and your Ogre defense. Now, runes are a big deal in duels. A lot of people don't have many runes for Dimensional Battle leveled up, and that's understandable because a lot of people don't Dimensional Battle. But if you're going to try to get high ranked on duels, if you level up your runes, it's the equivalent of leveling up your heroes to higher level of mortals in terms of adding skill levels. So it's a big deal, and you'll notice a massive difference 
with leveled up runes and with Immortal Level 5 rather than uh, if you just uh, have standard runes in there. So now I'm going to switch over to Loki, and this is another common setup here. Not so common because I use John, but Loki is basically one of the most overpowered heroes in the game because his stun takes up damn near the entire map. So you'll see this. Uh, see how he pops a shield right there. So I know he's going to be low on mana, and so I'm just going to Loki stun, and look at this. He gets a Heral stun off, but my, my uh, Loki stun's already happening. And so now look at that. It stuns everything. Everything is standing still. I'm taking no damage, and then I'm going to go ahead and Heral stun to chain it into the next one. Now, I've got enough mana to Loki stun after this. So I'm going to chain my Loki stun into my Heral stun, keep everything standing still. See how I'm taking hardly any damage whatsoever. There's not really much he can do once you get into the uh, stun combo. And then I've got the stun combo going, and then all of his stuff stacked up. John strikes and takes out pretty much everything he's got. And that's about the end of that. So if you can get into a Loki and Haral stun, rotating stun situation, it is really, really, really hard for the opponent to come back from that. Especially if you manage to get a John strike off. You usually won't have enough mana to get the John strike off if you are doing the Loki and Haral stun. But it's more powerful to chain the stuns like that on all their heroes than it is to get a John Strike off 90% of the time. Um, so I'm going to run a few more with the Loki setup and show you guys that. A lot of people now are running instead of John with that setup. They're dropping John and they're either running Rand or they're running Toma uh, along with Loki and just letting their, their uh, ogres do all the damage. So I'm going to put out another one here and we're going to see... Maria and Haral, obviously, for the uh, Ogre stats, the heal, and the, the hammer, which is, like I said, pretty much your most important skill. And then I'm going to put Loki in there if I can find him. And there he is. And uh, then the last one, I'm going to go with uh, John again. So I'm going to run a few more like this to show you guys kind of how you want to play it. And it really is just getting them into that stun cycle and stunning them over and over and over and... There's a lot of times where when you get that stun cycle going like that with the low-key stun chained into the uh, Haral stun, you'll kill one of their heroes, and then they'll pick the hero back up immediately because they haven't been able to spend mana for that long that they've got 100, 100 mana built up. So as soon as this guy runs in, first thing you do, you check their heroes, you know what you need to be afraid of. Uh, so he's got John, Maria, Achilles, and uh, Freitas. And so John's the one that I want to be afraid of here. He gets off a Meteor Shower, but my Loki gets off the stun. And so, as I said, once Loki gets the stun off, I'm just going to be... Well, actually, he had heroes stacked up right there, so I took out both of his heroes with one John Strike rather than uh, stun chaining. And then waiting for mana to get my Loki stun back up. Loki stun, and there's literally nothing he can do because everything is stunned uh, for the majority of the game. And by the time the stuff came out of the stun, John had already killed half of his stuff anyways. So it was over. And that's how John can just literally end a match really quickly. If he's got two ogres standing on top of two heroes, you pop him with the John, it's game over. There's nothing they can do about it. Another setup that I've been running quite a bit is dragon setup. And there's not many people that uh, run the dragon setup because I have farmed a ton of dimensional runes in, in Blood Moon so that I can uh, get the uh, dragon setup. And I'll show you that on the next one. This is going to be one last Loki one. Just to show you how overpowered the Loki stun is, it's incredibly good. It takes up nearly the entire map. So he's got an Ivar, Haral, Rand, and Maria. So what he's going to try to do is he's going to try to hold me still, and then he's going to try to fire me. There's the Ivar fire. He's going to try to Haral stun right after this, which is why I stunned right there instead of healing. And the reason I stunned right there instead of healing is because I knew that the stun would stop all of the damage, and then I could get my Maria heal off. And that's that. So now he's... See how everything basically died because he used that... Ivar Fire, which can do a ton, it does do a ton of damage. See, all my heroes drop down to like 25%. But because he used that Ivar Fire, he committed to it. And then I could just get my Loki Mind Control off, stun everything, and it stops all the damage. Uh, if somebody has Ivar really, really leveled up, Ivar can nearly one-shot most of the heroes, but not quite. Ivar's Fire is not going to one-shot anything. So if Ivar gets a Fire Shot off, then you really need to stun everything around your heroes right after that, or you're going to be in trouble. So now... Let's uh, talk about the dragon setup, and this is the last one that I've been running. So most of the time, 99% of the time in duels, you're going to run into people with either a weird setup, and you're going to crush them. You're going to run into people with the five ogre setup with basically one of the setups I just showed you, maybe a Toma thrown in there, and that's how you're going to handle it uh, these previous, the way I previously showed you. Or now, this is getting a little more popular, this is my dragon setup, and see how I don't have any heals, but I've stacked all my dragon stats. 
So Lauren summons dragons and she has dragon HP. Loki has the massive stun. Carl does dragon attack. And that's why a lot of people are like, why are you running Carl? Carl's terrible. And it's because Carl gives dragon attack. That's a big deal. You need the dragon attack. Um, for a long time, I didn't think dragon's going to be able to do enough damage in order to uh, get through ogre setups like this. But it turns out they can if you've got Carl and then both Lauren and Loki have an aura of flame. And so it's like everything dies simultaneously when you're going up against this. So he's got a Loki. So I'm really scared of the Loki. See how I stunned the Loki right off the bat? I actually got lucky there, managed to interrupt his mind control because he was trying to uh, mind control me as I run in. Now, I chain my Loki stun into it, and he gets his fatal blow off, but my Loki stun goes off. So that means that my dragons are basically probably going to be able to kill everything. I'm going to chain the Heral stun right into that, and that's that. See how everything kind of falls over simultaneously? That's because of the Aura of Flames, that's because of the dragon AoE damage, and that's because of those uh, AoE stuns that I managed to chain together. So the whole strategy behind this setup is just chaining those stuns, stacking everything on top of each other, and then your dragons blow them up because they do splash damage. But see how tough those ogres are? That's because he had the, you know, the ogre stats buff there. But that's the theory behind the dragon setup. And the reason I like the dragon setup is because you can come back from stuff. You're like a glass cannon. Like, my heroes die all the time. All four of them. But it's really hard to kill a dragon. They got a lot of HP. There aren't many things that can hit the air unless they're running with John. And it is what it is. Now, Spider Rob is one of the top-ranked duelers, and the dude's a beast. Um, so I think he's going to beat me in this one. Uh, but I'll, this is how you beat the dragon setup, which is going to be you cannot let the dragons chain stun. If you are running dragon setup, you have to get chain stun off. You cannot let them get shields or heals off. If they get shields and heals off, your AoE strategy falls apart, you don't get enough damage done, and it's game over. Uh, so a lot of times I'll chain stun, I'll use my Carl to try to pull their heroes over to the other side so they can't heal their clump. Like a lot of people will stack up on one side if they're trying if they're fighting against me with my dragons. They'll stack up on one side to try to go the other way, and I'll use my Carl uh, my Carl to kind of separate them. And then once again, it's literally just Loki then Haral then Loki then Haral then Loki then Haral, and that's that. But see, so Rob is running that first setup that I uh, that I talked about, which is Rand, Maria, Haral, and John. And so see, he missed the Deathly Strike right there, which if I hadn't if I had been able to get that uh, Loki stun off, this would have gone differently. But he interrupted my Loki stun, and that messed me up. And so now you see he interrupted my Loki stun, and then he's got his Rand standing off to the side outside of my Haral stun range, so he's able to get the shield up, and then see how all my stuff just falls over, because I've got no survivability whatsoever. Everything falls over. And that's how you beat the dragon setup, is you need to do what he did right here, and now he's got the heals going, and my dragons are just sitting there, all my heroes are dead, and he's got Haral up. And so I'm going to try to uh, stage a comeback, which by that I mean I save up to 200 mana and then I pick up multiple heroes and uh, using multiple heroes try to get my, my stun train going again. But if they interrupt that stun train using either a shield or a stun of their own or anything like that, it gets really, really hard for dragons to win. So when you're running dragons, you want to be really, really careful about placing your stuns and interrupting their heals and their shields because you really need that aoe damage to get going and uh run it like that so you see i pick up my loki i wait for his stun and then i get uh Haral off get a stun off but it doesn't matter because he john struck my loki it's game over there's gonna be 30 seconds this is why everybody hates fighting dragons though because you, you just can't kill all my dragons they've just got too much hp they're far away they're in the air He's got all of his heroes up. This game is over, but I, there's not even anything I can do. I guess I could leave the match, but there's not anything other than that that I could do. And I've also pulled off some pretty crazy comebacks sometimes. So see, I got Loki up. And if I had 200 mana right there, Loki up, everything stunned, I could pick up Haral and I could get into the, chun st uh, the stun chain again. But it doesn't matter. Game's over here. 3-2-1. He beats me with 100% HP, so well played by Spider. Spider's always kind of had my number when I'm running dragons. He's uh, kicked my butt pretty frequently. Uh, with the dragon setup. So I'll show you a couple more dragon setups just to kind of try to give some insight because I know a lot of people have been getting pretty frustrated fighting the uh, dragons and other people have been trying it. So this is English. He's ranked number one in duels right now, actually. And he's a beast. We're, we're about 50-50 on, uh, on who wins here. And I feel kind of bad whenever I don't play duels for a lot of the season so my ranking's really low and then I come in and I'm fighting the top-ranked guys because... It hurts real bad to lose 15, 16 points when you're up at the top. It's, it's happened to me before. 
it sucks. So I'm really sorry to the to the guys that's happening too. But uh, you'll have your you'll have a chance once I get up there as well to uh, take those points back, obviously. And so English usually runs an ogre setup, but I don't I'm not sure what heroes he's going to be running on this one. So he's got Loki, Toma, Haral, and Maria. So once again, I'm going to try to stun that Loki before he can get the mind control off. He gets the mind control off, but I get my stun off. And so now I'm going to have to be hammering my Loki's stun coming out of this before he can get his Haral off. He doesn't get the Haral off, he gets a Maria heal off. So I'm behind right now. But you see those two ogres over there. So now, once again, I'm just going to chain those stuns. As soon as Loki's stun is over, I toss a Haral hammer into the middle of it. Everything he has is stacked up. My Loki's back up, so this is pretty much game over because I can chain stun from this point on because Loki's overpowered. My Loki's about to die. That's not good. But my Haral's still alive, and so as long as I can keep him from casting another Loki or casting another Maria heal, I know that my dragon's going to be able to do enough damage. But see here, see here how he pops his Maria up? That's the problem with chain stunning really well. Is that, Like I said, sometimes they'll get up to 100 mana and they'll be able to get their hero back up. I'm just lucky that he rezzed his hero and I managed to get the stun off the moment that he got enough mana to heal. So there's the heal, but it's too late. Maria's dead. And that's it. Against dragons, you got to interrupt that chain stun, or you're going to run into some serious problems. If you're running dragons, you've got a chain stun. A lot of people don't run Loki with dragons because they want some kind of healing, uh, which is understandable. Like I said, I'm a glass cannon. You see here that... Uh, well, am I running... Uh, I guess maybe I'm going to be running ogres on this one. But... Um, Nope, nope, I switch over. That was a that was a feint. I was letting him think that I was going to be running not dragons. So you've seen how I chain stun when I'm running the dragons. The problem with dragons is that it is pretty uh, gear and rune intensive. Like you need to have level 40 gear on Carl. You need to have Carl at plus five immortal, and you need to have dragon attack runes on Carl as well because you have to have that little bit of added damage from the runes. If you don't have that added damage from the runes. Your dragons aren't going to be able to AoE damage enough. You can chain stun, chain stun, chain stun, but eventually you're going to get low on mana unless you're in the last minute. And if your dragons haven't done enough damage to take them all out in time, you're just going to lose the game. And so that's why I thought dragons were bad for a while until I actually went ahead and bit the bullet and leveled up the uh, Carl rune and got the dragon damage up higher. So now let's look at what he's got running in here. He's going to have a Loki up front. So I know he's going to try to stun right off the bat. And so see my Haral hammer waiting for it? There's the Loki stun. He does get the Loki stun off, and all my dudes run into the Loki stun, and I only got a couple ogres stunned. So this is not a good start for me, but I really need a Loki stun to be able to go off. Luckily, my Haral was over to the side, and he didn't get the uh, stun on Haral. If I hadn't been able to hammer right there, I would have lost this game. But because I was able to use my Haral Hammer to stop the damage from all of the Ogres on all my heroes, I was able to get into the stun chain, and uh, that's pretty much the end of it. As soon as I can get multiple stuns off like that, it's pretty much over. Uh, because everything just stands still, and my ha my Dragon's Hammer on their head, and that's, that's the end of that. So, to sum it all up, when you're dueling, most players are going to run five Ogres. Most of the high-ranked players are going to be running five Ogres. You need to learn how to fight that, and... The Rand, Maria, John, and Haral combo has basically been one of the best combos in duels since the beginning of duels. So if you are going to be focusing on leveling up heroes and trying to get runes up higher, I would say that Haral is your number one priority. Haral is used in basically every single setup in duels. Uh, there's very few that don't run with a Haral, because number one, he has Ogre Attack as one of his skills, and number two... That damn hammer that he tosses is incredibly good. So getting into it, you need to pick out a setup that you want to run. you got to level up those heroes. Focus on leveling up those heroes using Dimensional Battle, using everything else. Go into Blood Moon, try to get some rune levels if you can. And if you can get some rune levels up there, then that's what you're going to want to use it on. You're going to want to use it on Haral's hammer first, and then Ogre Stuns and everything else like that. Pick out a combo. Focus on those heroes. It is way, way, way better to fully level up four of your heroes than it is to kind of spread it out across a whole bunch of them and try out a whole bunch of different setups. So pick a setup, focus on it, get it done. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, everything else like that. I hope to see a lot more of you in duels. Uh, they are a ton of fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope it was helpful.